Hey guys, it's 5.57 and we, I don't know, we're still not even in the car. So we might leave not at the time we wanted to because we wanted to leave at 6. So I don't think we're going to leave at that time. But I'm all ready. I changed and I didn't really put mascara. I just put, I'm going to put mascara later. I put foundation. My mommy just asked me who I was talking to. Said I was vlogging. She doesn't know what that is. So, yeah. Um, I had like a little fit. Not really. I couldn't find my jeans and I was stressing over it. So now my room looks like this. I went to my closet and I started throwing everything. Trying to find my jeans. And I got so stressed out. I was like, where are my jeans? Because we're going to go to stores and it's like easy to take off. Not really, but I just wanted to wear them. I was so stressed out. And then I went back into my closet. And I was like, I'll just I'll just look through my uh, clothes that's like hanging up. It was right there. I was like, wow. So yeah. This shirt is from Route 21. But I think I might change because I don't really like this shirt anymore. I don't know. But yeah, I'm basically ready to go. Hey guys, um, I'm in Wichita, of course, and I'm in Burlington right now, and my sister gave me $50, so you know what that means, gonna spend it on, no, just kidding, I'm kind of waiting to see that perfect outfit, it's kind of weird vlogging in public, but yeah, that's what I'm doing, I see my mommy, I'm gonna go with her, <gasps> those are cute, home from Wichita and I know I didn't vlog a lot I'm sorry it's just I'm kind of getting used to the idea of like vlogging in public it's not that I'm embarrassed but it's just like uncomfortable sometimes but I'm working on it I vlogged and a woman was there so that's an upgrade um I'm sorry I kind of didn't vlog I have a couple of excuses um first of all I get car sick and I get after I'm in a car I'm still sick even though I'm not in the car and there has been a stomach flu going around, and my sister, I'm pretty sure she has it, and we were all with her, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to start getting sick, because, I mean, I couldn't really eat, because I didn't, I couldn't just eat, because I didn't feel good, and it was horrible. Um, I think we're all going to get sick, like, this sucks. But, yeah, I'm home. Hey guys, now I'm at the floor and I decided to talk to you about my adventure. So it was really, oh I thought I paused it. Um, it was really fun. It was really tiring though. And like to get to the mall or something, it was like, it took like 10 minutes. And it's like weird though, cause like where I live, it's a small town. And you get somewhere in like two, three minutes. And they're like, you could seriously like take a nap while going somewhere and there was like a lot of roads you know and like you had to like take this way if you want to go on the bottom and 
it was just way too complicated. I don't think I can ever live in a big city. I like freaking gone the wrong way and like I don't know. I'm I'm weird. So I got Starbucks, which was good. Um I went to Forever 21. It was pretty hard. Oh, I just opened Word. Okay. It was pretty hard like buy something in Forever 21 cuz they sell a lot of a lot of crop tops. And of course, you know, I'm not going to work crop tops without anything on top like for school because uh like I'll get dress coded but like I'll like wrap a small like, jacket around me you know but like I knew that my dad wasn't gonna let me buy one and I could just tell and it was scary because he looked down because he thought he got a message and while he looked down I left or I didn't leave but I went like behind a clothing rack type of thing so when he turned when he looked up I wasn't there anymore and he started looking for me and I like like something and I was gonna call my dad so he can help me and I went he wasn't there and I was so scared and then I was like dad and like he wasn't there and I was so scared like I was like if I stay here maybe he'll come back but then like if I stay here like you know I, I need to look for him so I saw him come and I was like oh, there you are I'm glad he didn't get me in trouble, though. He just told me to be careful next time. And I was so happy because, like, um, it was really fun. But then I felt bad because I was trying on clothes in Forever 21. Like, I was, like, sweaters and stuff. Or, like, yeah, I was just, like, jean jackets. I was just, like, putting it over my clothes. And I was like, Dad, can you hold my phone? Can you hold my purse? Can you hold my jacket? Can you, like, hold my Starbucks coffee? He's like, yeah, so he's just walking around me with, like, carrying everything that's mine. And I'm over here, like, trying on clothes and stuff. And then I didn't, like, get anything. So that probably sucked. And then... And, uh, we saw this photo booth. And that was, like, the first one I've ever gone on. And I'm trying to find the picture. Oh, here it is. We were taking pictures. It was so fun. Here we go. Like. They're so cute. Yeah. Um, it was $400 a straightener. I'm like, I'm not getting that. That's way too expensive. I only have like, I only have like $40 on me. I'm like, hell no. Heck no. So, I didn't get it, obviously, and neither did my sister. I felt bad, though, because she was trying to leave, but the guy kept, like, talking to her, and she was like, uh-huh, yeah. So, me and my dad left, and we got Starbucks, took the pictures, and then, um, what else did we do? After the mall, I think we went home, and I was so sick. 